this video of Everyday Tactical Vids, we're going to do something a little bit like Mythbusters. We're going to talk about these guys right here. Survival bracelets. Now, a lot of people who are into survival wear these because they want some extra paracord on them. Um, what I want to do is actually take it apart and look at how much paracord is actually on it, see what the different sizes are like, and see how useful it actually is. So let's disassemble this one. This is by, see if you can see it there. Bison is the name of the company. I think I got this at Cabela's, you know, for maybe five bucks or so. And um, fits around my wrist. Say it's about seven or eight inches long. And we're going to disassemble it and see how nice or useless maybe even the paracord is. Here we go. Here's the bracelet. And if you look closely here, <clears throat> you can see these two little, let me turn it for the right, the best angle there. Yeah, these two little kind of knobs there. That's the end of the paracord where it's been burnt so it doesn't fray. It's going to be hard to try and pull those through, but I'll try that first. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just cut right here so we're not losing a lot of the paracord. As you can see here, I did cut it to get it apart. Um, you know, it's one thing worth knowing. you got to be careful if you're going to do that because as you start here, you don't want to chop into the paracord and, you know, cut it into a piece half its length just because you're trying to disassemble it. So what we'll do now is start unwrapping it, get the uh, clips out of the way, and show you what the size of it is. Now I can show you the process of unraveling. It's not rocket science, it's just that it's gonna take a while. So I've got this black strand here. This comes over the top, so I gotta pull it through. It's a little bit easier to actually do with your teeth than with your fingers. Then you gotta pull it through on the other side. And basically, if you just focus on one strand, the other ones will start to come undone, at least on this style of bracelet. So I'm gonna go ahead and unravel this guy completely, and then we'll be able to see what the actual size of it is. So when it's all said and done with the paracord bracelet, uh, I do have the two clips. I've also got this tiny little piece of frayed paracord, which you could use, you know, as tinder or fire starter, maybe useful. You got this one piece here, which is about 15 inches. It's tan, half tan and half black. It looks like they've kind of melted it together at the end. And it does seem quite strong. So you've got a quite a good piece there. And then you have two pieces. You have a black one and a tan one. And I'll back up to show you here. Quite a good size, about 36 to 40 inches. So let's round it and say 40. You've got 40 inches of black, 40 inches of tan, that's 80, and then another 15 inches. You got about 95 inches of paracord. Now you could certainly use these ones for bow drills, for lots of other, uh, lots of other survival things. If you want to uh, make a shelter and tie three, um, three ridge poles together or long poles together, kind of to make a wiki up or something like that. Lots of options for this, and it's actually a decent size. Um, so, you know, paracord bracelets, it's not going to give you 10 feet of paracord to uh, you know, use in one stretch. But between these two, you know, if you do tie them together, do the math again, you got, say, about 100 inches. Overall, I say I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, again, these are bison, B-I-S-O-N, uh, paracord bracelets or survival bracelets. A lot of the other ones are out there like that. Um, every once in a while you can get one that has a bunch of small pieces, um, not as long as these ones. So just be aware, uh, Bison is definitely a brand you can count on to get two solid pieces of a solid length. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my disassembly video and taking a look at this paracord bracelet. Please like and subscribe and uh, follow us on Twitter and like us over on Facebook. Thanks, see you soon.